look to him. I appreciate what you're trying to do, man. But, you know, uh, I think I'm gonna lay low for a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but for your own good, I'm not gonna let you disappoint all these girls. You have no idea how Miami women are when they don't get what they want. I'll tell you what. Come to the party with me. If you don't have a good time, we'll rent videos every night for the next month. Are you suggesting that someone is targeting my models, detective? <laughs> Certainly there must be more than three women who've turned out dead in the metropolitan area in the last, what, six weeks? Why single out my models? I'm not the one singling them out. Some psycho's already done that. I want to know why. Can you tell me that, Ms. Martin? And while you're at it, I'd also be interested to know why all three women also hung out at the Dark Angel. I swear, Mr. Vincent's a vampire. <laughs> and a good afternoon to you too, Jody. By the way, this is my friend Alex. You're the guy from Sweden, right? Very cool. Nice to meet you. Don't worry. I only bite on alternate Sundays. I got a jet. I'm gonna be late for calculus with Miss Burns. Wait a minute, didn't you say she was the one that was the vampire last year? Come on, keep up, Dylan. She's a werewolf. Nice meeting you, Alex. She's, um, interesting. You can say it. She's weird. <laughs> no, it, no. Just, uh, I never met a, a real witch before. <laughs> Is she okay? The jury's still out on that one. Just wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. We're opening the door to a lot of speculation, Crystal, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, here's my plan, Harry. I write my next installment on Hamilton, throw out a few bones with some meat on it, and see what happens. Yeah, we smoke them out. Yeah. And my gut's telling me that Martin Devon is not the only one with Agita. I think our about-to-be ex-commissioner is going to be right there popping the roll aids with him. And maybe Roberto Rendon isn't on the action. <sighs> is that an unholy trinity or what? Why would anyone want to resurrect the Hamilton case? That bimbo reporter from the Miami Sun, she's been nosing around. Crystal Tate, yeah, she's been here a while, but you don't think she signed this, do you? Nah. How does she know where to look? There's only one person that had that picture. Well, obviously, it didn't come from them. Obviously. That means someone else has it, and it's an indication that they're prepared to use it against us. <laughs> Why would they want to dredge that up now? Sometimes you make me laugh because you're running for mayor and because I want to expand my business enterprises. Somebody doesn't want that to happen. It appears we have a common goal, O'Keefe. And what would that be? 
of that would be to keep the real enemy at bay so we both can pursue our business objectives. You know, I know guys love girls who have that little French thing going for them. I like her. I mean, yeah, she is hot, but it's that pouty look that says, I'm sexy and mysterious. That's what I'm going for. Okay. So I don't need you to teach me all that grammar and pronoun stuff. Just the basics, you know? No problem. C'est un pas difficile. What does that mean? Oh, sorry. I guess sometimes I get a little overzealous. That means uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Great. So, um, when can we start? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I am a pretty busy guy, you know? Got a lot going on, and, uh, I mean, I guess I can fit you in. Well, if it's gonna be a problem, then I guess I could always get those tapes you were telling me about. No. I mean, no, it, it's cool. I can handle it. I'm a can-do kind of guy. Um, listen, about pain. Oh, don't worry about it. You can work something out. Steve and I was just getting to know each other again. Be thankful for that. Every time I get close to having something I want, it's taken away from me. My whole life is about loss, and I'm so sick of it. I'm so tired of fighting for nothing, for more emptiness. It doesn't have to be that way, Cara. Let me take care of you. Uh, I know you mean well. That's not what I need. I, I need to go on with my life. I think that's why I went back to Stockholm to try to find something, maybe something that I lost. I can give you a future, Charlotte. One where you won't have to wait for the phone to ring, hoping it's a new job. I have money, Antonio. For a year or two, maybe three, then what? You lost the Bella contract. The look is younger now. That's what the clients want. Now you're being cruel. I don't mean to be. It's a question of perception versus reality, Cara. You never understood the difference. If you mean I'm not ready to wither up and die, you're right. I've earned my freedom. You're a very beautiful woman, Charlotte. <sighs> don't, please. I can protect you. I don't need protection. That's what you want, Kara. You know that's what you want. Don't fight it, Charlotte.
if you're looking for Tom, you found him. Leave a message. Hey, bro, it's me. I'm back in Miami. Uh, give me a call, OK? No more phone tag. I hope that wasn't an important call, Detective. Oh, it's my brother. We've been playing phone tag. Look, um, if there's anything that you can remember about anything those girls may have said uh, about a guy they might have hooked up with a dark angel, or if they were turning tricks, I don't know. I'm just grasping at straws here, but I don't want to have to go down to the morgue and find out that this creep has offed another woman. I understand, and I'll certainly call you if I think of anything. Thank you. It's me. I'm afraid that everything is going to blow wide apart. And that poor girl, she's got more silicone than my computer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, how about tonight? Oh, yeah, the party. I'm telling you, it's gonna be intense. Yeah. Uh, look, Dylan, I don't really feel like being around people. Well, have you ever heard of being alone in a crowd? Huh? No. <laughs> and I'm willing to bet you just made that up. <laughs> what kind of guy would that make me? You know what? Don't answer that. But anyway, hey, you gotta come, man. Come on. You gotta give me the chance to introduce you to the main squeeze's new box. You mean jukebox? No, 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 no. You see, that would be an insult to jukeboxes everywhere if I called this thing a jukebox. Honestly, it's this machine. It plays music. It plays great music. It plays Rolling Stones, it plays the Beatles. All right. I'm gonna have to spoil the surprise. It plays every song Elvis has ever recorded. Now, come on, man. Well, all right, man. OK, I'll come. <laughs> Good. Just to be honest with you, I'm just going to have to drag you with my own hands. Yeah, like you could, punk. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How many more Devon tragedies is it going to take for you to stay put? Come here. Hey, Pop. You get my message? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Your brother called. He was worried. Yeah, I left him a message, too. I was worried. As you can see, I'm all in one piece. What about your boss? What's his name? Stefan Erickson. His wife, Nora, was there when it happened. It's a rotten shame. There uh, weren't too many details on the news. What do they figure it was? Not sure. Uh, probably an accident. You don't really believe that, do you? Why wouldn't I? Maybe because Martin Devon has a lot of enemies. Listen to me, Will. Quit, Devon. This time you were lucky. Next time, who knows? Come on out on the patio. How's a good cup of Joe sound, huh? Uh, good cup of Sam sounds better. Hey, you. Hey, yourself. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. Um, about the other day. What about it? I'm sorry. I, I guess I was just in another place. And, well, you know. Yeah, I know. I've been there a lot lately myself. You know, I thought a lot about what you said. What part? About needing things. I don't know why, but that idea has been racing around in my head for the past couple of days. And I guess I understand where you're coming from. I mean, I'm not talking about anything particular, you know. I'm talking about everything. Like if we fit in here, at the squeeze, at home. Anywhere. Exactly. The scariest part is, 
I realize I didn't have a single answer for any of them. Me either. All right. And the really weird thing is, it's okay. You think? Yeah. I mean, it made me feel good to know I wasn't the only person having those thoughts. Trust me, you're so not the only one. I mean, everyone can walk around acting like they have everything figured out. Whatever. We've all got issues. I guess the hardest thing is admitting it to anyone but yourself. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like what you said about Dylan. You just wouldn't understand. That's how I sort of feel. Am I making any sense right now? No. <laughs> but I think that's the point. How can you make sense of something that doesn't really make any sense in the first place? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Am I gonna see you at the party later tonight? Maybe. Hey, Jody. It was good, huh? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Bopper Cranberry Scotch on the Rocks. Hey, man, you run a, a club on Washington, don't you? Yeah, who wants to know? Heard you were looking for a bartender. Yeah, could use a little help. Why, you know somebody? Yeah. Me. Well, what's the problem here? You don't like it around here? I like it fine, only the action's limited. I heard I could do more of it at your place. It's possible. You're the right person. Here, why don't you give me a call? Talk. Say we go out and grab a bite for dinner tonight. Uh, another time. I need to go check on Chrissy and Alex. No. Moral responsibility. I promised Nora Erickson before she died in my arms that I'd look after them. Okay, I respect you for that. What about the job? I'm sorry, Dad. I can't leave Devin. This is my project, too. I've put my blood into it. The way it's looking, your blood is going to be on it. Is that what you want, Will? Haven't I already lost enough to Martin Devon? Don't start with that, Dad. Oh, you don't want to hear? Well, that's tough. If it wasn't for Martin oh, Devon... Don't! Don't say one word against my mother. Thanks, Ricky. until it gets crowded. Oh, damn it. What is it? What's wrong? You see that guy waving over there? Yeah. That's Matty Engel. He's the editor of the school paper. God, I forgot. I was supposed to give him a few minutes today. He wanted to talk about the basketball team, you know, a shot at state, whatever. Look, I'm just going to tell him that we'll do it another time. No, 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 that, I mean, it's okay. Go ahead. I'll be fine. Are, are you sure? Hell yeah. Go ahead. All right, this will only take a few minutes.
Somebody's in a funk. No, not really. It's just the song brings back memories, you know? Memories, huh? Yeah. I'm guessing we're not talking root canal in your most embarrassing moment in high school, right? Not exactly, no. Who's the guy? You're not gonna tell me? Nope. from Alora. Terry Martin? Nice lady. Real nervous. Definitely hiding something. 